Top of the morning, this is Talk of the Morning. We're here to bring you all the hottest new gossip on the block. Welcome one and all to this broadcast of Talk of the Morning. I'm Mario. And I am Amari. And for this episode, we will get you ready for the big game. Talk about current releases and we will get opinions of a cat. We hope you stay and enjoy. Let's begin with something scary to start your day. No, 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 no. We are here to make people happy and get them to laugh and start the day on the right foot. Okay, okay, let's talk to our interviewers. Pop up, pop up questions and see what they have to say. That's more like it. Here's man on the street. <laughs> Pizza or spaghetti on your cupcakes? Neither. Yes, it does. Our AirPods serious. Answer the question. What? No. Answer the question. I didn't hear Our AirPods series. I feel really. Answer the question. I know it's. I know it's. What percent of snails are related to kangaroos? Well, you don't. Well, he doesn't know. If you have a question and like us to ask, as we walk the halls of Eastside, leave it in the comments below. Maybe you'll see your question and the responses we get on an upcoming episode. People have opinions, and lots of them. But what about cats? Do you think cats can understand us when we talk to them? Of course. And here's the proof. We asked the, we asked the cat some questions. Judge for yourself. Here is cat opinions. Minga, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Bowl? Food? The Super Bowl, uh, Kansas City Chiefs versus the Eagles. Uh, who do you think is gonna win? Me, duh. <laughs> I don't think it's an action there. Which one, Eagles or? I said me. <laughs> it's a local fan favorite. Lane Father Gale has this week's eats with Lane. Let's tempt your taste buds with a small shop called Indies. It is known for their chicken, but you can get seafood and barbecue there too. They have very high rating and a great place to pick up their famous spicy fried chicken. What better time to try it than this weekend? Pick up some for the big game Sunday. Meals start at just a few dollars. You can get a family size order for $25. Indies is on North Broadway, just down the road from Transylvania University. This is Local Eats with Lane. Back to you. A six-year-old boy from Michigan's eyes were bigger than his stomach, and that left his parents with a $1,000 Grubhub bill. <laughs> when the deliveries started coming in at Key... Keith Stonehouse's Detroit home, he knew something was up. Stonehouse gave his cell phone to his son, Mason, to play games before bed. Instead, Mason started ordering food and lots of it. One Grubhub driver after another, ringing the bell and dropping off a little bit of everything from jumbo shrimp, salads, pot, pita sandwiches, and chili cheese fries. Grubhub has offered the family a $1,000 gift card. The, co the company also considering using the family for a future ad uh, campaign. That's a lot of money. For the, rest of our sh for the rest of the show, we will get into our pop block where we tell you about the movies and shows releasing this month. We also have a new game to talk about this week as well as a song review. In a little after, we have our Super Bowl predictions and numbers. Stay tuned after this short break. Hi, my name is Sharon. Uh, uh, what, uh, what's our product again? <laughs> All right, guys, you've got to buy this product. I'm getting paid for this. Do you see this? I need okay. you to buy it. Okay, stop. Welcome to the Pop Block, where we look at the latest in music, movies, and events. Let's get started with Marvel Cinematic Universe. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, is the newest project from the MCU in the first movie in Phase 5. Scott Lang, also known as Ant-Man, gets stuck in the quantum realm with his daughter. He needs to find a way out, but so does a new evil entity. Can Ant-Man escape with his daughter and stop the new villain? Or will he risk everything just to lose it all in the end? Find out February 17th. The new Harry Potter themed game, 
Hogwarts Legacy has just been released. It follows a new student attending Hogwarts for the first time, in, but as a fifth year, with no prior knowledge. The gameplay is open world environment where you can talk to fellow students at, or professors as you solve puzzles. Find out where, where your mystery's ability comes from. This game is expected to cost about $70 billion. It must buy for any Harry Potter fan. No, <laughs> I'm really wow, that's a lot. All right, let's talk about how I just made a mistake on that script. Just, just, just don't. I don't, you know, I don't even want to talk about it. I just don't. Well, I do. So, how much does it really cost? You know, it's seventy dollars. That's a little bit more of my price yeah. range. You know, I, w I wouldn't even pay seventy billion dollars for one game anyway, even if it was supposed to cost that much. The console itself doesn't cost that much. And you're so. exactly right. <laughs> okay. Um, they say music makes the world go round, which is why we are in search of hidden treasures. Today, we're simp simply coming home by the band Cheeseburger, the song where was released in 2008 and could, could be labeled as rock and maybe some roll. Coming home has been featured in TV and gaming. It was used as the theme song for the Adult Swim animated, animated show Super Jail. It was also used in the game Skate 3. The Kansas City Chiefs are facing Philadelphia Eagles in, the, in Super Bowl 57 this weekend. Wow. Sports is, ne sports is next with Patrick Douglas. But first, a look at some local entertainment in our community calendar. Patrick Douglas is here with sports, and this weekend, there's one thing on everyone's sports fan's mind, the Super Bowl. The Chiefs hit the gridiron in Arizona to face the Eagles. This will be a tough match due to the fact that they have the same rankings and the same team. I really think the Eagles have a good chance to win this game, though. I predict that the Eagles will win the Super Bowl. I always go for the underdogs. But in my prediction, there's something different. They Chiefs have a greater option to win because of their momentum and their strength. The Super Bowl is not only entertaining but big business. The venue changes every year, which brings tourists into cities, boosting the local economy. Bro, get out of here! <laughs> the Super Bowl is not only entertaining but it's big business. The venue changes every year, which brings tourists into cities, boosting a local economy. About 110 million viewers tune in on the TV, while another 100,000 watch in person. Tickets will set you back millions. This year, the average ticket price is nearly $9,000. Nine-time Grammy nominee Rihanna is this year's halftime show performer. Her show is already being billed as the most memorable solo performances in Super Bowl history. The Super Bowl will air on the Fox Network with kickoff at 6.30 p.m. The halftime show will hit sometime between 8 and 9 p.m. That's sports, back to you. Look around our school and you'll see our Skills USA members preparing for the regional competition on the 17th. On my honor, I pledge to prepare myself by diligent study in art and okay, writing. Okay, slow down, you're going to bat. Also, she's here. Our officers are practicing for a leadership com competition where they re recite their creed. Fire and law enforcement students are pra practicing CPR and fingerprinting skills. Game design students are working on illustrating the visuals for a video game they are creating. And our classmates are working on video and audio co competitions. We leave you on with your week weekly wisdom. Today, we have a quote 
from the one, the only comedian, Will Ferrell. Before you marry a person, you should first make them use a computer or slow internet service so they to see who they really are. Thank you for joining us for a talk of the morning. I'm Omari. And I'm Mario, signing off.